All right, hey everyone, Gratuitous here from itsgratuitous.com. In this video, I will be unboxing the Solid State Logic SSL2 Plus audio interface. Since I run my beat making education platform focused on FL Studio, a lot of you as students have questions about the gear I'm using. So I recently upgraded to this system. Before I was using an all-in-one solution. This was a great audio interface because it's both an audio interface and monitor controller. So as you can see here, we can switch between two sets of speakers. You get two headphones, you get all your microphones, tons of connection options. For the price, this thing was awesome, but I was looking to upgrade to a better audio interface as well as when you get to a monitor controller, these things can get really, really expensive. So a monitor controller allows you to switch between two sets of speakers. This one here is passive. We don't have to plug it in. That's really awesome. And you simply can switch between your two sets of speakers with these buttons right there. All that out of the way, this is the products I'm upgrading to. I'm really excited for that. And we will just do a quick unboxing. Uh, the reason why I went for the two plus, because there is just the two, I personally went for the 2 Plus because I like the two sets of headphones. I use one uh, set of um, headphones for earbuds. That's what I use for my FL Studio courses and beat making education. But then if I'm going to be making beats by myself, I will use an open back headphone. And you can't really use an open back headphone with a microphone because you get feedback if the microphone is too close. So that's why I want my two sets of headphones. That way I don't have to unplug things. I also really needed this monitor mix because when I'm doing education, it's important that I'm able to hear my voice so I don't start yelling as the audio starts getting louder. And you still get your two microphones, your volume. This is not a button. It's just an indicator that you're plugged in USB. And for me, that was, you know, all I needed. One other feature I was really after in an audio interface is the loopback feature. This was a later upgrade. So you have to upgrade the firmware, but you get loopback. So which means that my older computer can still be more performant because before I was using the FL Studio ASIO driver and um, you don't get the best performance. Like you get okay performance, but when you typically when you use the actual audio interfaces ASIO driver, you're gonna get the best performance. And then that way, hopefully my computer will last me longer because up, upgrading and switching to a new computer is a big, big job. So here is the audio interface. Uh, you get your two um, USB cables. One is USB-C. USB-C and then USB-A to USB-C. Now, one other thing just to quickly say is I usually never purchase any type of audio hardware where they are promising any type of add-ons and stuff like that. Um, I have all my plugins. I simply just use FL Studio and I always get a really, really good experience. All right, so just remove these and that's pretty much it. You, know, you, just, get, you just get a help manual. You get the audio interface, and then here are the connections in the back. So again, I went for the SSL2 Plus. You can save a lot of money just by going for the two if you do not need the uh, extra headphone. And you also get an extra set of outs if you need that. You can also see here on the headphones, you have you can send that to a three and a four, so you can have a different mix on the one headphone than the other. I don't usually do that. I'm just a solo per, you know, beat maker. So again, I'm gonna be using this audio interface with this monitor controller and I'll be able to get high quality audio recording as well as sending the audio out. And then this thing will be able to um, switch between my speakers. So I'll be doing another video on this, an unboxing, all right? So again, this one is the SSL2 Plus. I cannot give a review on it. You know, this is just a quick unboxing as well as telling you guys why I'm upgrading from the Mackie Big Knob Studio. I'm just looking just for a higher quality experience, but for the price, this thing was awesome. It's a really jam packed unit, but again, I just wanted to separate that. And then this way, I'm just getting a bit of a higher quality experience by separating them, all right? So if you have any questions, feel free to reach me at itsgratuitous.com. I offer tons and tons of beat making education. There is over 35 beat making courses on that website, itsgratuitous.com, all focused on FL Studio. If you want to learn to make, you know, custom drum loops, learn to program your melodies all off of a MIDI keyboard, again, just visit me over at itsgratuitous.com. I'm really excited to get started with this SSL2 Plus audio interface.